Hey guys, and welcome to The Shack. Today I want to talk about one of the important pieces of information that I learned from the Flint Scientific Safety Course, and that involved glove safety. Now, wearing gloves are very important uh, because they protect your hands, obviously, um, but it's also important to wear the right kinds of gloves. There are a number of instances where wearing the wrong glove can actually get you seriously injured. For example, um, some gloves might not be able to withstand certain chemicals and uh, those corrosive chemicals could get onto your hand uh, and burn your hands. Um, also, fuming nitric acid um, re will react with uh, disposable nitro gloves and latex as well and it will ignite them on contact, which can be a very, very bad thing. Um, so if you take the Flint Scientific Safety Course um, on the Unit 8, Chapter, let me get it so you can see, Unit 8, Chapter 36 Notes, which is Dispensing Chemicals and Acids Safely, in that chapter for the notes you can get the Glove Selection Guide. Um, and this tells you all the different types of gloves. I know you can't see very well, you probably can't see it all, but um, it tells you all the different types of gloves and uh, under what circumstances to use them. So I'm just going to um, uh, read this list off to you um, and tell you a little, about, a little bit about each of the gloves if you cannot access this list. So on the far left I have uh, disposable nitrile, but I'm actually going to talk about disposable latex first. Uh, disposable latex is the least beneficial glove to wear. It's not, it, um, it's not helpful for that much. Uh, but here's what it can be used for. It can be used for dilute, dilute solutions of mild irri irritants, and those solutions must be aqueous, um, uh, such as inorganic salt solutions and diluted alcohols. Um, so you can't even use latex with pure, with, uh, pure or concentrated alcohols. Next we have disposable nitro gloves, which are these. These are the uh, most commonly used ones. Um, and these can be used for dilute acid and base solutions, aliphatic hydrocarbons, those are alkanes, like hexane, and alcohols. Um, yeah, these are, these are pretty much the general use gloves because um, a lot of people are, using, are uh, allergic to latex. Um, so these are definitely a good choice. Obviously uh, not for s substances like nitric acid. Um, Next we have heavy duty nitrile, and these are not disposable. Um, well, they could be disposable if you're really wealthy. Um, these can be used for very corrosive or caustic acids and bases. Um, these can, this, this can withstand 98% uh, sulfuric acid. Um, these can be used for aqueous halogens. Um, and I'm assuming that they mean uh, I'm assuming that if it's resistant to aqueous halogens, it can also be resistant to pure halogens. Not entirely sure about that, um, although bromine would probably eat through it. Um, just don't don't work with halogens. Just no. <laughs> um, although if you work with halogens, you'll probably know what you're doing and know all the different types of gloves. Anyway, excuse my rambling. Um, so nitro heavy duty, they can be used for corrosive or caustic acids and bases, aqueous halogens, aliphatic and aromatic hydrocarbons, alcohols, and even ethers. Um, some chlorinated organics, I don't know what some means, um, although again if you're working with uh, chlorinated alkanes um, or any chlorinated organics, you'll prob you probably know what you're doing. Um, Next we have uh, two different types of neoprene, uh, the neoprene latex. This is uh, neoprene mixed with latex. Um, it's a little more flexible and easy to work with, um, but again if you're allergic to latex like I am, probably not a good choice. Next we have uh, the real neoprene. Um, these are not very flexible, um, so they're not very good for uh, most tasks, but um, they're very chemical resistant and they can resist uh, very corrosive and oxidizing acids, caustic alkali, hydrocarbons, and alcohols. And um, next, I, I haven't included them here, they would go here, uh, but because I don't uh, have them, um, uh, next is butyl gloves. Um, and these can resist all acids and bases, alcohols, ethers, esters, and ketones. Um, and so ketones are extremely corrosive, like acetone and methyl ethyl ketone. 
Um, so you'll definitely want to wear the right glove with those. All right, thanks for watching and be safe.